As part of efforts to tackle cyber crimes, the Embassy of the State of Israel has pledged to assist Nigeria in tackling cyber criminal activities, homeland security, internal insecurity, using modern technology. The pledge has been made at the one-day seminar on Israel's homeland security and cyber technology 2018. It was organized for stakeholders in the Nigerian security sector by the Embassy of Israel to Nigeria in Abuja. As preamble to the forthcoming fifth international conference and exhibition on today's technology for future security that is scheduled to hold from November 12 to 15 in Tel Aviv, Israel. So this is the moment that uh, I, I, I looked for to explain how to train the people, how to train the right people to be able to detect, to, uh, to be able to function, to do what is needed, the response, and of course doing the protocol and to make sure that it's done in the right order, not to be in the target position. So first is awareness, then is comprehension and understanding, readiness, and of course, the most important is budget saving. Not to purchase all the solution in the world, or to be able to know what is really needed for your systems. I believe that you need to train not on simulation, but to train on your stuff. If you have a very good analyst, an analyst can have two, three, four, five attacks per year and practice this. He can practice 10,000 of attacks. He can practice each day different attacks. So the level of understanding, the level of of, of being prepared is much higher. It's much higher. It's like an, an airplane uh, pilot. It's different. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime came to us and wanted to develop technology just like your deal. We sent them to our financial intelligence unit. We worked together with them and we produced what 40 countries are using today in the world. They call it the Nigerian tool. It is actually GoML which is used by over 40 countries as money laundering analysis tool for tactical and strategic analysis. In Lambda, we deal with thousands of uh, confidential information of customers, uh, food companies, drug companies, and we need to keep those confidential. Internally, we have also a lot of confidential information that we have to keep to ourselves. And uh, internationally, we relate to other regulatory agencies. And they are, if we're exchanging information, then it becomes very necessary to keep our data secure. So uh, as a regulatory agency, we have to have good cyber security. As a leader in this area, technological leader, in not only in, in Homeland Security, but in general technology, um, I believe uh, we have a commitment to assist and to help uh, others. And I think it's one of those situations where really it's a win-win situation. It's a situation where uh, Israeli technology uh, can come, can be exported to a country like Nigeria, and industries and companies and agencies here in Nigeria can leverage that technology and enhance their capabilities, enhance the, the, the capabilities of their workforce, and, and uh, I think it's a, it's a lovely place to collaborate. From the news agency of Nigeria, it has been 